Being of light and divinity are calling you now. They wish you to connect with you more strongly and you are being guided to strengthen your energy, your energy field to allow more of the divine light that seeks, that seeks you to flow through your body safely and into expression. Beloved initiate, you are called to allow more divine energy and light to emanate from your body to help you build your light body so that love and healing of the cosmic feminine energies of the star of Isis can descend through you, offering you healing light and assistance to humanity and setting your own heart and soul on fire with divine love and passion. It is suggested that you first build and strengthen your natural pillar of light within your energy body, like building a broadband cable so that you can receive energy transmission into your being more easily with, without each preparation, it would be like trying to run high voltage electricity through wires that were not equipped to handle it. Some fire and damage would occur and the practice would not be safe or sensible. The pillar of light of energy, tube of pure white light that connects the soul star chakra above your head and the earth star chakra beneath your feet. The star of Isis will descend from above your soul star chakra, pouring its grace, light, and healing power until it eventually flows like a river into your earth star chakra, blessing earth through your body. So today, this Tuesday, I'm in Pacific Beach. And this is one of my favorite spots to come to. I do five miles. There's a beautiful trail along this path that has these beautiful boats and uh, obviously the ocean there's a lot of places that you can lay out and just enjoy a very quiet serene time these are the steps that i do going along the path i go up and then come back down i love the shadow of the palm tree that's really pretty so i'm just going and going and going <laughs> Thank you. 
I just left the post office and I have just been waiting for this package because a little story time. I thought, oh, this is big. I thought my cat, this is heavy. Oh man, this sucks. I think this is gonna be too big for her. I thought my cat was a boy. And this whole time, it's been a she. And so, um, um, I'm gonna try it. So yeah, I had to, the bow tie that she has on now, I kept it because it had a bell on it. So now I'm about to take this off and see what this other one is looking like. However, I honestly feel this might be too big. Hopefully not. She's only, she's a baby. She's like, oh yeah, I think it's gonna be too big. Like around five months. And um, so yeah, I am changing up her, oh God, changing up her vibe <laughs> but yeah now I'm gonna have to cut this a little bit because it's just a little too big but so cute with the spikes and it's pink so yeah I uh yeah Let's see how she does <laughs> Let's see. Buddha Buddha baby so yeah it's cute I'm just gonna have to cut it because it's too long on that side <laughs> I don't know I might have to purchase something else I mean she doesn't care that's like my main thing and I have to get the bell to put on it what do you think babes huh you little cute baby you're so cute and then this while I am laying on the beach or on my bed I just wanted to get a folding table um, just so I have something to set everything on because it's usually on my bed and it just gets annoying sometimes. So yeah, that's what's happening today. I just finished my workout. So I am going to go wash my hair and go take a shower at a 24 hour fitness. I wanted to do my laundry today as well. It's 2.33, it's still kind of early. But I also haven't eaten yet. I ate a couple of walnuts and I kind of feel like eating. So I might just go eat, chill. What's up, baby? I might just go eat, chill, and then um, do laundry tomorrow. That's what I'm thinking of the plan. So that's it. That's what's happening. So let's get over to... 24 hour fitness because your girl needs to shower and shave and it's like a whole spa day when I go to the go to the gym. So let's do this. One thing that I absolutely love of living in a beach town is the fact that I can barely wear anything and nobody gives a shit. Nobody gives a shit because there's people out here walking the streets with bikinis and listen, I feel like the less of clothes that I have to have on, the better. Obviously, I'm not gonna be walking around in a bikini, but I do have like my little cover up. I just have some boy shorts on and a little cute uh, black tank top underneath. And this is all I'm wearing. And I go into the stores and, you know, shop and go out and drive and, ah, the freedom, the freedom of the environment that we place ourselves in, right? I think that's the beauty of this life. And it's not just van life, just the beauty of this life in general is to be able to have the choice 
to put yourself in an environment that just makes you feel good, that makes you feel free. Are we ever 100% free in this matrix reality? No, maybe not. However, because we are the matrix, there is no separation, there is no escaping, there is none of that shit. Like we are the totality of that. Um, that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. However, you just learn how to alchemize and maneuver yourself through your environment. You know, yeah, there's a collective of bullshit going on in this world because people have free will and choice. You know, however, that is just one collective experience. That doesn't mean that that's the reality of everything that surrounds you. I feel like, yes, we are collective as far as all of us as one, but then there's pockets of little co, um, pockets of co-creating with, with different people. You have the surfers, you have people who wanna, who are mountain people. You know, you have people that are musicians that stick together. You have people who love van life. Like they're all just these pockets of collective energy. And you know, you get to choose where you wanna flow and what collective energy you wanna be in. You have people who are into politics. You know, if that's where you wanna go, then fucking go there. You know, it's just all the choice. Um, I choose obviously to 95% of the time be in solitude. Um, 5% would probably me be like out with my one friend having lunch, which happens maybe once a month. Um, but I'm not with a collective group of people. That's just, just not my vibe. I know people are like, find your tribe, find your tribe. I, I just, you know, I feel like I'm burned out on the whole tribe life. I'm just, I just want to experience this journey solo as much as I can. Um, just because when you live your life in this solo space, there's a lot that you can hear. There's a lot that you can see. There's a lot that you can feel. There's a lot that uproots itself um, internally, you know, mentally, spiritually, all of that shit. And when you have too much around you all the time, it's just, it's just too much. You know, for me, it's just too much. I don't want to be around a bunch of people. I just have my beautiful princess here and you know her and I are rocking it and I love it and then every once in a while when you know I want to get my little groove on then you know I find somebody to get my groove on with and we separate and go different directions there's no labeling there's no feeling obligated there's no you know like what's next like no it is what it is thank you for the experience and now it's just time to keep moving you know and um, yeah, that's something that for me happens maybe once every couple of months. Um, if that, like if that, if no, actually that's a lie. I think my other girlfriend would tell you it, it's nah, it's not. I'm fooling myself. I enjoy my space, <laughs> which is why I choose an animal that can only meow, 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 meow. <laughs> And then, you know, you feed her and she's cool, she's happy, she's running around, she gets the zoomies and take her for a walk and, you know, you guys come back and cuddle and it's just all divine love, you know what I mean? Um, you don't have to hear, like, oh, just, please, I'm just not there anymore. I'm just not there, I'm just not. Um, yeah, so. I'm gonna go get this food. I know I went on a rant. I was gonna keep on moving, but um, I have a couple of errands to do for myself. Now that my cycle has arisen from the abyss and um, go get me something to eat and then just go chill. So thank you for following me today. It is Tuesday. I really would love to do a video a day. I know this is super crazy. I've just been procrastinating. You guys will see, there's gonna be some of my old videos that now that I'm getting into my YouTube and learning how to edit and you know, putting shit together, I'm really getting excited about it because it's more of this creative energy, which is, I'm really loving it. Um, but I have so many videos. You figure I've been living van life for three years. I've been focusing all of my energy on Instagram which is why there's 10,000 followers over there and I only have 713 followers on YouTube. Well, now I'm shifting this whole reality within myself of documenting my content because I feel like I have a beautiful life to share and if anybody has any 
questions or how to's or Q and A's, like I'm just open to share. I'm just an open book um, because I went from corporate. Uh, I have three boys who are now all in their 20s. So I went from that, having a home, having a marriage, now divorced, and now just living this very minimalist and simplest life. Um, you know and it's doable it's not like if you ever have been thinking about doing van life and I'm just gonna do another video but I'll just do a snippet you don't have to have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars you don't have to have these Mercedes Sprinters you just don't I have a 1999 e150 it's been great yes I have to do mechanical work on it because I travel I've been from Florida Manchester New Hampshire Pennsylvania Arkansas da Texas all the way to the other side to northern cali and you know now here in the southern aspect of it so of course there's going to be wear and tear on a van but the experience and the freedom and the saving of money that you get to do while living and doing this is just so worth it so if you've been wanting to do it i have my own experience obviously everybody's experience is different um but yeah it's it's been beautiful so there was something else I was getting to, but anywho, um, yeah, I'm going to do some videos about that. Oh, that's what I was saying. So I have so many videos. I moved to Mexico and was there for almost a full month. Um, that I was supposed to live there and live there for, I think I was going to do like six months. Um, but then just the weather and just some other shit. I was just like, I can't be here. My skin wasn't happy. I noticed a difference in my face while I was there. Just, there was just a lot of things shifting because your body has to literally, I know we don't think about this, um, when we travel, but when we're in certain elevations, the weather changes, your body has to literally and physically adjust to what is going on. And so you'll start to see differences in your face and your body. I mean, since I've been here in California, I've get, gotten so many responses and so many uh, just beautiful remarks of how great my skin looks and how I'm glowing because every environment plays a role on your physical body internally first but then it's gonna show from the outside so um, yeah so I have all these videos so now that I'm into editing and putting all of my shit together I'm just gonna grab a lot of those videos my Mexico trip um, seeing my mom who has Alzheimer's I'm gonna do a video for that um, if anybody's struggling with family or parents who either have passed from Alzheimer's and you're still trying to deal with that or currently in the situation now, I know how that feels. I don't know how you feel specifically, but I know how I feel specifically with having my mother have Alzheimer's and it's just not a fucking fun ride. It's very emotional, mentally draining. Um, it's hard to know that somebody that you were so close to just doesn't even know you anymore. So. Um, that's for another day. So yeah, anyways, I have all of these videos and um, I'm just going to start putting them together and dropping them into YouTube and begin to really document my life in a raw form. I'm tired of the filter game I had used. You can kind of go to my Instagram and see some of my pictures. Like it's just, there was this one specific filter that I absolutely loved, but fuck the filters. Like this is me, this is mama. And I'm just gonna start embracing that in my videos and my photos, all of that shit, because how can I possibly ask for something true and authentic in my life if I myself am not fully living it? And why am I masking myself in the first place? I mean, look at me, I'm fucking gorgeous. Peace.
raised on classic cars. <laughs> This is what I'm gonna eat. Oh, I already ate because I just couldn't help myself. The cornbread and um, the chili beans. It was like veggie chili beans. So delicious. Um, however, I bought these as well. And one thing about these is that I don't like eating them the next day. I have to have them now because then the avocado starts getting bad and it's just not a good look. But my salad, I'm actually gonna keep that that you guys see me buy. I'm gonna keep that and uh, eat that for tomorrow. So that means I got two meals for $40 at Jensen's, which is, I'm cool with that. So yeah, tomorrow, uh, my I do one meal a day. So the, the, the veggie, chili beans, and the cornbread, and then this is all I've had today. And then tomorrow, it's just gonna be the salad and then I have an avocado there, so I'm gonna put the avocado on it, and then probably um, later as a snack, just do like I have uh, an apple. Excuse me, so I'm gonna eat the apple. So that is it. Thank you for being a part of my journey this beautiful Tuesday. And I'm already at my spot where I'm gonna be chilling tonight. You kinda see that's where the water is across the street. And, um, yeah, that's it. And Buddha, I think, is taking a nap. Let's see where Buddha is. All right, peace out.